Hey guys, and welcome back to the How to Make a Virtual World series. In the last one, I brought you guys how to customize the interface and do different stuff. Just a little note, I changed the box right here from white to blue, and I also added a border graphic. But anyways, um, welcome to part three, and we are going to be configuring the XML uh, file here, which is configuration settings and stuff like that. This should be a fairly quick tutorial, I hope. And yeah, so let's just jump right into it. Now, we're not going to be using Flash uh, at all in this video. We're going to be using all... We're, we're all going to be using XML. That's it. Now, I recommend getting Notepad++. I mean, you can edit the configuration file in Notepad, like regular stock Notepad. I'll show you guys what it looks like, though. Uh, yeah, you can edit it, but it's not very good. It doesn't have any syntax highlighting or anything. So the link for Notepad++ is in the description below, and it's a really good program. So here you'll open it up, and you'll find some dev comments. This is basically just the header. You can remove that if you want. Now I'm going to go through this a little bit. Server IP, this is for when you publish the server and stuff and leave the port at 9339. Max user idle time, this is the amount of time before the user gets kicked uh, from being from not being active. This can be useful so you don't have inactive users on your server hogging up space. 300, uh, it's in seconds, that's the unit, so 300, I believe that's 10 minutes. Max socket idle time, that's in seconds as well. That basically means if they can't connect, that's, in, that's the number of seconds they have to connect. If they can't connect within that many seconds, which is 60, then it will automatically give them a server error and won't let them on. So here's some other stuff. So anti-flood, I find it pretty useless, but you can enable it by just changing false to true. This is the same with everything, uh, but I'm just going to keep it disabled. So what you're going to have is you're going to have these messages, warning message, kick message, ban message. You're going to modify the, uh, well, the message is basically in between these square brackets by C data. That's basically your parameter. So, yeah. If you're making a game for younger kids uh, and you're going to have a younger audience on your game, I recommend activating bad words filter. I did already. These will This will automatically be turned off. I recommend you turn it on. This will be set to filter. I set it to remove. Filter basically means when they enter the bad word, it will put like stars over the word or whatever. So, But I just personally like it removed, period. Like it won't send it through so nobody will see the message at all. Strip characters will have more than this. I kept period, comma, and exclamation mark for grammar, whatever. Warnings, uh, I disabled warnings, which means as soon as they do it, they will automatically be kicked. It'll just skip the warnings. And set warning before it kicks to zero, because if you keep it at the three and you still disable warnings, it won't kick them until they do it, like, three times. See data, we're going to, I'm not going to modify it for warning messages, because I don't have warning messages. I'm going to change, uh, I already changed it in the C data parameter. This is something else I changed if you've been kicked for swearing, blah, blah, blah. And I did the same for the ban message. Here is your bad words list. You can add to this list. This is a stock list, basic stuff. You can add to this. Uh, for instance, I recommend adding aliases, such as, uh, you, you should add, like, uh, I don't know, for the word fuck, people might use FCK, because most people know what that is is in alias four so i'm adding a an alias in the bad word filter ban cleaning keep this at auto and 2600 that's at the or no it's it starts with 1800 which is 30 minutes i changed mine to 2600 which is 60 minutes because i want them banned longer and i changed this to you've been banned from the server um and that's that's basically all the options now i'm going to go through two more things Administrator login. This is the default. You may want to change this from to like an admin username and a password in case any script kitties along, decide to come along and figure out that it's made by Smartbox server. And if you still have the default and they know the default, they can get into your admin panel. Unless you also set another security, which I'm going to be showing you guys, but I still recommend you change that. Allowed administrator IP addresses. Now, this can be very useful. Right now, as the adderisks are in it, that means any IP address can connect to the admin panel. You can add a list of specified IP addresses that can connect to the IP panel. 
That means if somebody that you don't know that's trying to hack into your database uh, knows the admin and password, decides to crack it and does it, is um, even if it's legitimate and it's the right admin and password, it still won't let him in because his IP address isn't listed. So that can be very useful. No game is unhackable, but that will give it a lot of protection. Okay, so now down here we can edit our room names. This is only useful if you're going to edit your room, if you're going to have your room list. So I'm just going to keep those. Uh, that's fine. But anyways, yeah. So if you're going to, you can keep playing around with it and stuff like that. But basically what you want to make sure is stuff like this, like, uh, I don't know, names. You can edit it fine. But things that are have false or true in them, keep them as false or true, so all lowercase, or it'll give you an error. And something like max users, you know what that is. Keep that as a numerical value, or once again, it will give you errors and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, yeah, you can use the basic template, and yeah, so you can just play around with it and whatever. So once you've done that, you can save it, and then you're going to need to restart your server in order for it to take effect. So I'm going to reboot my server. Okay, it's ready. And I'm going to hit Control enter which is the keyboard shortcut. And here we are, connected. Please log in. And once we get in, here's our little guy. And I'm going to show you that our alias worked. So if you enter in SCK, it'll say you've been kicked for swearing. Uh, it'll have our message, it'll have the thing at the top, and an OK button, and as you can see, it just kicked us, and our message did not go through. Um, we're, we can try this again, and then it'll kick us in a few seconds. On other people's screens, you'll be gone, you can only see this for... Thing. Okay. I've been banned for swearing, so that means for 60 minutes I will not be able to log on. Uh, I can change that, obviously, because I'm the admin. But anyways, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please hit that like button below. And as you can see in the console, it also logs the stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I'll see you guys uh, in the next tutorial. Once again, if you like, please hit that like button. I appreciate it. Comment any questions or comments you have. If you have any errors, send me your file, and I'll try to fix it for you. And subscribe for the latest and greatest, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial in this series. Peace.